Tonight, Israel is promising imminent strikes on Lebanon as its military takes aim at Hezbollah's financial branch. The message comes just hours after Israel pounded Hezbollah's intelligence headquarters in Beirut. Fox's Trey Yinks reports. That's right. Tonight, Israeli forces are targeting a variety of Hezbollah banks across Lebanon as the war between Israel and Hezbollah continues. Israeli strikes were reported in both the Beka Valley, a Hezbollah stronghold, as well as the Lebanese capital of Beirut. These strikes going after a specific Hezbollah-linked banking system known as the Qard al-Hassan Bank that has a variety of branches focused in the capital of Beirut. The activity on the northern front comes as Hezbollah continues to launch rockets into northern Israel. Hundreds of rockets were fired toward Israeli cities, including Haifa, over the weekend. And the southern front remains active as well. One of the highest ranking Israeli officials was killed since the war began inside Gaza. A Druze colonel, when he stepped out of a tank and went to a position with other Israeli leadership, that position was reportedly booby-trapped. Looking closer at Gaza, overnight the Israelis released new video of the former Hamas leader Yahya Sinwar walking through a tunnel with his family on October 6th, just a day before the October 7th massacre. With the war ongoing, there is currently no diplomatic solution in sight. But U.S. officials will reportedly be visiting the region this week as the Americans look to help the Israelis find an off-ramp to an escalating multi-front war. In Haifa, Trey Yingst. Fox News.